Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin, if you meet me for the first time, and today we are looking at this device that's already been in use. Um, but I just wanted to um, let you know who this is for. Basically, we'll break it down, tell you why I got it, and um, let you know if this is for you before you jump out and get it. If you're new to this channel, I would like to say, you know, subscribe, join your family here. We do music, movies, tech reviews, and uh, short films and feature film, which is our first will probably be coming soon. Uh, more on that later. But um, if you like to watch movies or you like to learn how to make movies, then this is the channel for you. First of all, this device is from Ulanzi. I've gotten a couple of their stuff before. This is. Um, quite uh, something I've been looking for now. But I want to organize my shooting experience. I want to be able to get all these things together neatly and uh, be able to do the videos effectively. I've been setting, trying to set up these things and I've been watching uh, DSLR Shooter, of course, who um, basically has been trying to promote uh, this one stand fit all, you know, studio, YouTube studio, the Sony FX3. It's a perfect um, um, camera to mount on these things. You know, the Sony ZV-1, um, you know, cam um, phones and GoPros, light cameras, basically. For me, it is going to be monitors, lights, just for color effects. Um, it's going to be microphone, like this bone arm that's here. I can move here, you know, in a podcast that is set up. So I'm going to leave all those gadgets here on it and not even bother about it um, but for my camera i'm still going to use um, um, what i'm using right now um, we'll be seated on the table like this that's where this stand comes in um, from um, uh, eye footage you know the eye footage uh, uh, monopod yeah, so the, the base is what I really use more than the iPhone it itself, the, more than the whole unit itself. So this is how I rock it. And then I've got these lights um, right here to support, you know, if I'm doing uh, like an unboxing uh, table. Now on the camera, I have my 18 to 105, which is pretty much, I'm using it at about uh, probably like 20. Just, I want to leave it here to be the studio workhorse. Not like it's the best camera for me, but it's all because of the same principle. I don't want to be jumping around and moving things around. So this is uh, kind of getting, you know, you, you kind of fine tune your settings and you get the, the best settings for the office with time. That will help me make better videos or faster videos. And then if I have to jump out and get shots and get B-roll outdoors, then I'd use the Black Magic and not even take the FS5 Mark II. Um, so that's kind of my flow. Um, so that will help you understand now how heavy is this thing or how tough. The first thing I, I noticed when I brought out the pack, it was light. And you know, right then and then I knew that uh, you know it was going to serve my purpose quite all right, but not everybody uh, because it's going to be flimsy. Um, now, while it is rock solid, I mean, it's commendable. It's not going to fall off, depending on the weight. If you don't overload it, it's not going to fall off. But um, depending on your desk, um, it's going to wobble if your desk is not solid. Now, I think I have about the best desk you can get. Um, it is very large. If you know my desk, it is very large. It is not the rising one. Um, if this is part of this is one of the challenges in my studio actually it's both good and bad like it is tough it is rugged it's large it's good for you know unboxing I've enjoyed it over the years this table is the bomb but you need to have extra space to really enjoy or appreciate it I can do away with it now I just want to wait until it's time to get out of this house then I'll be 
I will not be taking this thing with me to the new house. I already have the rising tables. I have two of them, one on this studio here and another one waiting on the side. Um, like if I'm using the rising table now, that is not gonna be as solid as this. That is on two tiny legs. This is, it's got three legs, heavy legs on the ground. So it's gonna keep it really solid. You know, and it's got the thickness, enough thickness to hold. I think the lighter the, your table or your desk, uh, the flimsier it's going to be. So with a good grip, it is solid. But that would depend on your deck set setup. So your foundation needs to be good. If you want to get this thing, make sure you have a rock solid uh, uh, table. 99 bucks is cheap compared to the 1,000 or 2,000 uh, price that Caleb uh, um, on DSLR shooter um, has been, you know, making those devices. Those are going to be more rock solid, but this is going to be flexible in terms of easy to use, cheap, and you can always replace it. So um, if you can't go with that, uh, this is a good option now actually talking about dslr shooter he beat me to this d device he beat me to this uh video uh because i saw him release the video yesterday while i was unboxing um while i was unboxing and setting up and i found the video online that he already released the video i wish caleb would get some benefits from it because he he's basically just pioneered or promoted the the need for this stuff and um yes i've been crying for something like that but i'm not that technical number one to just go buy parts and make it myself i'm not doing that i really wish uh, he would start a kickstarter of some sort and you know be able to make some money from all his creative ideas and so shout out to dslr shooter if you guys don't know him you go, you should be subscribed to that channel if you're a filmmaker um, i'll put the links in the description check him out What am I using it for? Um, uh, live stream is gonna be an option. Um, yeah, when I got my cameras, angles, like I'm doing a, a live presentation and I'm, you know, unboxing and talking to, like I am going to be doing a, a giveaway soon, a live giveaway. I got the um, Free World um, Live Pro, which is a, a switching device and it's like a, webcam device so i'm going to be connecting my cameras to those you know i already started a little bit of demonstration on you know a little bit of setup i'm still trying to work my way in uh, but the bottom line is that's what i'm going to be using it for majorly even for my youtube videos for angles but this is how i'm going to be still rocking my uh, unit i'm going to have my gopro mounted um, i'm going to have my phone somewhere when necessary the phone is there and then i do have my zoom uh, q4n you know old rugged lovely device that i said i will make a review on but never got to you know doing this to the camera is not the best actually good angles already set up that would be a better approach for the youtube channel okay so i'm giving away three items okay three cages and one other item which i will disclose uh, um, that is non Pocket 6K owner related, uh, probably lights or some camera gear, something like that. Um, so I will let you guys know. So if you're in for that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that's going to count. Um, but um, other than that, I'm done with this video. I'll be doing more um, reviews as I go and showcase what I do with it, with my setup, and moving forward, how I'm able to you know maximize the use of this thing hopefully this video helps you decide thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video peace